guys welcome back to another video so today we're gonna be doing the strawberry makeup look trend i have been seeing this trend literally all over social media and i'm like i want to try it out for myself and i've been kind of skeptical because i'm like i don't know if it's gonna look good on me to be honest with you that's why i wanted to make this whole video of me like trying this trend because the strawberry makeup look is like a lot of blush which you guys know i love my blush but i feel like for fair skin tones that look can either look super cute or if you put just a little too much blush you just look crazy like i literally can tell when i'm wearing too much blush because it just looks crazy instead of looking cute it just makes me look all delulu and i'm like yes it looks cute i love blush but in reality it does not look cute so i feel like the strawberry makeup trend is just like clean girl makeup very soft very minimal but just with a lot of blush that's pretty much what it is if you haven't seen what it is i'll put pictures here so you guys kind of get a reference of the vibe that i'm going for but right now i have no makeup so literally let's get ready let's try this makeup trend also i've seen people do it with very bright like red lip tint like just very bright red lips or i've also seen like like very soft pink lips so i i'm not really sure how i want to do the lips yet so i guess we'll see or maybe we can do both and see which one i like best i don't know yet that's the only thing that i'm kind of debating about still but literally let's get ready and let's try this makeup trend and see if it actually looks cute in person because i always feel like certain trends look so good on certain people and then other people it just looks crazy so i'm like i just want to try it out for myself and see if it's actually worth the hype if i can actually pull it off more than anything but yeah let's get ready don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get started okay so start Starting off, I'm just gonna clip my hair back because I actually just crimped it. I'm learning, I'm kind of playing around with the crimper. I don't really know if I like this hairstyle yet. I'm just playing around with it. I don't know if it looks cute. What do you guys think? Because I've never really crimped my hair. I have a crimper and I just never use it. So I'm trying it out and I feel like I just hate the poofy. Like I have a lot of hair. So I just hate when my hair looks poofy and that's why I don't really wear it crimped. But right now I feel like it looks okay. I don't know, I'm just playing around with it. And starting off with primer, oh my God, okay. So I'm gonna try really hard not to put like too much makeup because I feel like this makeup look calls for a very soft base and then just like a lot of blush, so. Starting off with primer, you guys know, if you don't know, now you know, I always use two primers. Like two primers is a must for me because I get oily around my T-zone and I already did like my skincare prep and everything. I'm just going in with primer. In my T-zone, I always go in with like a pore feeling primer. And then for the rest of my face, I like to go in with a more hydrating primer because I have very dry skin and I just love the glowy makeup look for me personally because of my dry skin. And then for the primer, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. This is the soft silk one because I know they have more than one but this is one of my favorite primers I just hardly ever use it in my videos I feel like because I don't want to waste it I'm like girl she's expensive but I'm forcing myself to actually use it because it's honestly one of my favorites like look at how glowy my skin looks with this primer every time it just looks so good and then another Fenty Beauty product is honestly another one of my favorites it's the Bright Fix Eye Brightener this one is so good I just hate the applicator like it's low-key a little bit messy so sometimes I get it all over like my hair or my clothes but this is just a color corrector and I really like this because I have really bad dark circles you guys so oh my god this happens to me every time i forgot my sponge Ugh, i hate when i don't wet my sponge like and i'm already sitting down and i'm feeling the vibes and then i'm like i forgot my sponge <laughs> anyways this is the pink color corrector from fenty color corrector is a must like if you have really dark circles like me like this is literally a game changer not me forgetting <laughs> Honestly, guys, I haven't done my makeup literally in like a whole week. I'm like, why am I low-key forgetting how to do my makeup? Because I haven't worn makeup in a while. Because we've been like moving, unpacking, all that stuff. So I just haven't been doing my makeup. But I'm like, I'm so excited. I love getting ready. And then for the face, I don't want to go in with a super heavy foundation. Because I feel like this look is more minimal, more light coverage. So I'm going to go in with the skin tint from Fenty Beauty. Oh my god, is this sponsored by Fenty? No, it's not, girl. I just love Fenty. But yeah, this is the skin tint. Super, super good. This one's in the shade number number three and low-key i i feel like i use a lot because i just like more coverage but you really don't need too much this is more so to like even out your skin tone and just cover up a little bit yeah this is super like coverage which is the vibe we're going for and i feel like i'm not a fan of skin tints or just like bb creams and stuff because i'm like it low-key doesn't do anything like my skin looks the same and they're super sheer but this is like the one skin tint this is the one exception this is the one exception to that because i actually really like this one like this is the only skin tint that i've actually found that i like because it actually does something to the skin like i hate 
putting something on and then it just looks the same. I'm like, oh, I need at least a little something. Like, give me something, please. Okay, now I'm going in with concealer. You guys already know the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. I don't know why I couldn't say that, but this is literally my go-to. I will forever love this concealer. Like, I... This is just my favorite concealer. I'm obsessed. This concealer is so good. Like, I'm obsessed. It looks so good every single time. Oh, also, I think I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my eyes just to give it a little bit of coverage because I think I'm going to do a tiny bit of eyeshadow. Like, I feel like it would look super monochromatic, if you will, if I do just, like, a BB pink little shimmer on the eyes i feel like it would just look so good this is definitely a more minimal makeup look but i feel like if i just add a little bit of shimmer on the eyes it would just look so good and i never do eyeshadow like you will never subscribe to me for eyeshadow tutorials i do not know how to do my eyeshadow like for real i feel like in 2016 i was obsessed like i would obsessively buy eyeshadow palettes thinking that i was gonna like do all these colorful looks that i would like see on youtube and stuff and girl i would look crazy like sometimes i get like um memories on my snapchat of like those days where i used to do eyeshadow and i'm like girl that is not cute like please delete that immediately because it just does not look cute and I can't believe I would go out in public like that. I'm like, oh my god. If you knew me back then, girl, no you didn't. No you didn't. I'm gonna use this little pink powder just to set that concealer really quick. Okay, now going in with bronzer. This is definitely one of my favorite bronzers. This is so, so good. It's the ColourPop Body Bronzing Balm, but I use it for my makeup and it just looks so good. My face is definitely not the same color as my body, so I feel like none of my foundations match right now, but summer's like almost over and I'm like, I don't think I'll be out in the sun that much anymore, so I'm just gonna wait it out. Like, I don't wanna buy a whole new range of shades. So I'm just making it work and adding a lot of bronzer because I'm definitely not the same color. I feel like my body is just all different types of colors because I'm always wearing different shirts when i go out and i just have the worst tan lines like i really did myself dirty with the tan lines this summer because they're just all over the place and they're so uneven like you can see just random lines all over my body oh my god yes this is definitely my favorite part the blush oh my god i'm so excited i feel like i have so many blushes that would be perfect for this makeup look but i'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush because it's literally called Strawberry Drip and it matches the vibes of this makeup look. So I'm like, yeah, definitely gonna use this one because this is definitely a Strawberry Drip vibe. And we're just gonna go ham, girl. We're gonna put a lot of blush. This is such a cute blush. I love it. We're just gonna pack it on. And I'm kind of scared because I wanna look like Chili Dino right now with all this blush, but... I kind of want to do like, you know how people do it on their nose, like put it like this. I've never done that before and I'm scared. I'm like, I don't want to look crazy, but people make it look so cute. And I'm like, why can't it look like that on me? Like when I do it, I look crazy. I just look like I just ran like five miles or something. I make this work and we're just going to put a lot, a lot of blush. Oh my God. I literally look like I'm sick. Like I have like a disease. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my god. Okay, I definitely need to set this makeup. So I'm gonna go in with my powders. I also use two powders just because I'm extra. So I always use a pink powder for my under eyes just to brighten it up and because I have really dark circles too. And I feel like that's actually gonna look super cute because of all the like pink blush that I have going on. So we're gonna go in with this pink powder from Huda Beauty. This one's in the shade Cupcake absolutely obsessed one of my favorites and then for the rest of my face i'm gonna set it with the color pop one in the shade translucent so i'm gonna take this little powder puff and just put the pink powder on top first i always set my under eyes first because i don't want them to crease so i'm just gonna blend this out real quick and then set my makeup this step always makes me look crazy because of all the powder but i have to set i pretty much just set all of my face except for the cream blush I want my makeup to last and I feel like when people do minimal makeup looks they don't usually use this much powder but I don't know I have a really hard time doing a minimal makeup look because once I do one step I'm like okay I I'm not doing foundation but I'm doing concealer and then if I'm doing concealer I have to do bronzer and then if I do bronzer I have to do blush and I just end up doing a full glam and I'm like girl this was supposed to be a no makeup makeup look and now you have a full face makeup like I don't know I just really struggle with it and I feel like other people make it look so easy they'll use like three products and it just looks bomb and I'm like I can't do that like I literally can't and when I've seen people do this look like they use very little powder like I literally feel like I can't do my makeup without powder so I don't know how people do it and then to get rid of the powdery look which of course I 
don't want my makeup to look matte. I want to bring back the glow, so I'm going to go in with my favorite MAC Fix Plus. And this just makes the makeup melt right into the skin. <laughs> I feel like I can't breathe. Oh my god. A little fan moment. I also want to finish up the eyes, so I'm going to go in with this ColourPop palette. This is their blush palette. They sent it to me in PR and I haven't used it yet. This has like a bunch of pinky tones, so I feel like this is perfect for this look. So I don't know which one I want to use. Let me swatch a couple of them. This is the middle shade right here. Mm, this might be too pink. Wait, I don't know. Hold on. Um, okay, let's try this one. This one's like lighter, but it has more shimmer. This might look better. Oh, I kind of like this one. Okay, this, me not even showing you. Oh, you can't even tell on camera. Okay, let me try one more. Maybe this one. This one is more bronzy. Or maybe you can mix them. Which other one did I want to try? This one? Oh, this is definitely too dark. Yeah. One eternity later. So here are the different ones. Like I feel like this one is too pink. So I'm kind of gonna go in with this nude one because it's just gonna add a little bit of sparkle. Sparkle. <laughs> sparkle. I don't know. Or should I mix them? Maybe I should, maybe I'm gonna mix them. I'm gonna go in with this one first just because it's lighter, and I'm gonna do it just super simple. Like I'm just gonna pat it on the lid just to give it a little bit of sparkle so my eyes aren't naked. I literally never, ever, ever do my eyes. So I'm like, you know, maybe I should just do a little something. Cause so I have like all these palettes and I just never use them. Maybe on camera you can't even tell, but in person it just looks like a very subtle shimmer. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because I'm like, if I add anything else, knowing me, I'm gonna mess it up. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes now and add some mascara. No falsies because it's gonna make it look too dramatic. So I think I'm just gonna do mascara and then just add like a little corner lash just for a little bit more definition. But oh my god, I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara at the moment, the telescope. Lift. This is so good. Like, look at how bomb this mascara is. This is with the mascara, and this is no mascara. Like, you can see a very drastic difference. So, if you've never tried this, this is definitely worth the hype. Okay, so really quickly off camera, I just put a tiny bit of um, under eye mascara. I also went ahead in and filled in my brows, and I've been absolutely obsessed with this eyebrow pencil from Wet n Wild. It's so good, and I swear it was under five dollars. So I definitely feel like I've been sleeping on this because it's so good. We're literally almost done. I just need to put like a little bit of highlighter, but I don't think I'm gonna go in with just a highlighter. I actually want to go in with this blush. I got this blush from Essence. This one's in the shade Pink Flush, and it has a little tiny bit of shimmer so i feel like instead of doing highlighter i'm just gonna go in with more blush because we need to literally look like a face on right now so i'm just gonna pack this on and i've actually never used this before and i've been wanting to try it out so i'm just gonna pack on more blush we need all the blush right now because i feel like we need a little bit more blush I don't know if on camera it looks as pink as it does in person, but in person, girl, I am pink. Like, super, super pink. Just so funny because I'm like, the more, the better for this makeup look. And then and now we can literally move on to the lip combo, which is what I'm mostly excited for because I've never really done like a super bright lip like in a while. Like, I don't really wear bright colors. So I want to swatch a few lip glosses that I have. Also, the lip liners. I have a few lip liners and I don't know which one to choose. So actually, let's pick the lip liner first so let me just swatch a few i have this one from kimchi this is like more of like a burgundy red which i feel like if i do this with just like a little light pink in the middle it would look super cute or i could do like this mauve lip liner which i always do this one so i'm like i don't know maybe i shouldn't do this one this one is definitely lighter for sure so i'm like mm, should I do lighter or darker i don't know or maybe i can mix them i don't know oh my god this is gonna be so hard because i have like so many options okay what about this one. Oh, this one's like pinkier hmm i feel like i'm gonna have to decide between these two so this one the kimchi one is this one in the middle which is the most burgundy one and then this one from ColourPop is more of like a berry pink color it's the one that's right here on the edge i don't know if you can see this one so i don't know if i should do this one or this one. <gasps> oh i don't know should we do the darker one? Because I feel like the darker one, you'll actually be able to see it. Let's watch the lip glosses because I'm so indecisive. I don't know. So these two are both from Maybelline. I have the shade Heat and then the shade Bubblegum. This one is more of a pink shade. It matches my shirt. And then this Heat one is a darker pink. Almost like a red, if you will. It's like between red and pink. I don't know. So let me swatch this one. Ooh, this one looks really good. Definitely. I feel like this one looks more like the makeup 
trend that I'm trying to achieve. This one might be too light. Oh my god, no. I feel like this one is good too. Why can't I make up my mind? I don't know. I don't know which one to pick. This one's more red. This is more pink. Well, strawberries are mostly red, they're not pink, but then the blush is more pink, so I'm like, what do I do? I don't know. I feel like at the end of the day, like after I wear them, they might look very similar. So I don't know if I should go with the light pink or more of like the red. I don't know, strawberries are more red, so maybe I should do that one. Girl, what would you do if you were me? So I ended up going with the kimchi lip liner, which this one is in the shade root beer And it's more of like a dark. I don't even know. Would you call it red? I don't know I don't know my colors, but definitely on the darker side and then to blend it out a little bit I'm gonna go in with a super light pink lipstick just to blend it So this one is from Mac and it's in the shade creme cup This is such a pretty pink lipstick and I'm just gonna put this only in the middle and then I'll go in with the gloss on top because I feel like that would look super cute. Okay, now let's do the gloss. Let's try heat and then if I don't like it, then we'll go in with the other one. This looks so pretty. I actually like this more than I thought I would. Why does this look like my everyday makeup? Haters are going to say that this is how I always do my makeup. The only difference is the lip, but I don't know. I feel like I added like more blush than usual. That's pretty much it for the makeup. What do you guys think? I'm low-key obsessed. Like I never really do like a darker lips so this is definitely super cute i feel super pink super girly super barbie vibes if you will because just so much pink going on my shirt is pink everything is pink well that's pretty much it for the makeup what do you guys think i feel like it pretty much just looks the same because i always add a lot of blush but the lip is definitely different for sure i typically don't do a, a colorful lip if you will but let me know if you guys have tried this trend if you like this trend because i've also seen the latte makeup and i want to kind of recreate that as well because it's more of a bronzy um, makeup look which is definitely my vibe it's definitely up my alley but I think I want to wait a little bit later because I feel like that gives fall vibes more than summer vibes and I'm still in my summer vibes like I don't want to give up on my summer vibes just yet so I'm definitely going to do the latte makeup trend as well um, but I kind of want to wait a little bit because for me it's still summer girl I'm not ready for all the fall stuff like I've seen so many people start buying like Halloween decor and like all this stuff and that is not me girl that is not me like I want to hold on to summer as much as possible like literally in December I'm still gonna think it's summer because I just refuse to let go of summer summer is definitely my favorite anyways let me know what you guys think of the strawberry makeup trend if you guys like it if you guys think it's cute I definitely like it it's super summery super fresh I also like how lightweight it is as well but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye